guys, how's it going? I wanted to follow up. I wanted to talk with the divine feminines because I know it's so tough. It's so tough. Okay, I just want to stretch. It's so tough for us right now, if it hasn't always been. But for some reason, it's just feeling like, yes, we know Judgment Day is coming. The Divine Masculine is coming. And not only are we just like, are we prepared? And oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. You know, brush your hair, brush your teeth, get ready, prepare, because it's coming. And first of all, let's not like be like, oh my God, he's coming. We're going to have sex. Oh my God, he's coming. We're going to be in a relationship. That's what kills us, Okay. Know that he's coming That because you guys need to finally be together. You guys finally need to, like, see each other. But I want to say this. Right now, I know the majority of us are feeling this way because I know I feel it. This, this money, 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 money is becoming the biggest issue I've ever felt in my whole entire life. And I'm not a materialistic type of chick. I promise you. But lately, it's been on me to be like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to what, 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 like about materials? I mean, we all love things and we like going, you know, to Disney and whatever. But lately, and I just wanted to say this. Yes, go divine feminines and, you know, stay in power and do what's going to make you happy. We all deserve love and we all deserve it right when we want it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, right? But that leans into materialistic things. And the thing that I want to say about this is, yes, we're twin flames, so we can telepathically communicate. The readings that I've done, and you can go look at them also, uh, is the divine masculine and his karmic partner are in a loop. They're in karma. They're subject to the devil. They're subject to the world in its deepest, most purest form. They are literally together because of this material wealth whether they were bound to each other somebody did a binding spell for money i mean whatever it's this is where it is right now and it's inevitable that it's going to change right now i think because of his attachment with wealth that we can feel and that we know has got us on this scramble for I mean, it's like rat race. Have you ever seen that movie where they were like in a casino and then like a few of them were chosen. There was like a duffel bag of like a, a few million dollars and they were all for like a half across the, like the country or the world or whatever to go get this money. And that's just like what it feels like. By the way, very underrated movie. You should watch that. But um, uh, a lot of known actors and actresses, it's hilarious. But I feel like that's what it feels like. And we're even more defiant because of it. Whether that's because this is not who we are, we're not materialistic, or you know what is a really good point that I was, that I'm trying to pray about is not doing things that I feel like are bettering myself because of him. It's like literally every time I do something that I know I'm supposed to be doing at the pace I'm supposed to be doing it or something, I feel like it's like I owe oh, thanks to him. Because the lessons start from him, it's, or just judgment day, or the person that they, you know, are spiritual guides and whoever we worship have sent to us do you understand this level of like spirituality it's not to say that you're done dude like i tell you if you say that if you're feeling like that it's just gonna be the biggest quarrel you can be with someone else and fall in love with someone else and learn and grow with someone else you can move to italy you can move to tuscany rome i mean bali oviedo like you can move wherever you want but you're like in my knowledge, this is never over. And to the cat, and to the cow, what is it, says meow or something? It's not up to you. I feel like we have to learn these lessons. And until then, then you can be done. And then you can just like really move on. I mean, this is judgment day, don't you? If you see it like that, you'll understand. You have to see you being with this person and vice versa when he's with you as judgment day. I mean, imagine why men would want to like not see this day as clear as for what it is. You know what I mean? And for me, I'm not going to say that, oh, yeah, stick with him, stick with him. Let me tell you something, okay? This has been one of the hardest things that I have ever had to do 
in my life. My mother would agree. I mean, just the hardest thing. I know a lot of us are in living situations we don't want to be in. We're in work situations we don't want to be in. And I just feel like ultimately, for me at least, like I just feel like some of us also feel like we're wronging him. Every little thing we do is about this person who denied us, it almost feels like, really. And made it like we were worth nothing. Hides everything that is inevitable to see. Hides everything that we have planted in him. And we also feel like he hides it from us, hides it from the world, shows the partner because she's going to see regardless. And try to give there and try to plant there. Some of them have kids with them after your meet, before. And decide to still stay there. And it's because of this financial wealth. I'm telling you. I've done too many spreads on it. It's literally almost pathetic though. It's like every time we feel like he's coming, it's because he's made a decision to. And then, I don't know, steps on a $100 bill. And it's like, oh, yeah, no, wait. But then it ends after that, literally, in like an eight-card spread, it comes up three to four or five times. Justice and judgment are in the middle of that. And it's like he wants the, the Ten of Cups, you know, or the Ten of Pentacles or the Two of Cups. And then the lover shows up. Devil energy shows up. It's like you, we almost wonder, like, what can we do to help this? But then it's like, don't you think ever that he asked the same thing? What can what can he do to, like, get you to be the, the woman of his dreams too? Be someone who's a little less prudent? Be someone who's a little more driven? Be someone who's a little less party animal? Be someone who's a little more talkative? I mean, whatever your path and your destiny and who you are, Exactly how we feel is exactly how this guy feels. I'm telling you. And just because he's the one having babies, he's the one doing... Imagine, have you ever wondered how it is to... It's like there's a suffer in silence type and then there's a person who acts upon how they feel. It's clear as day. We know that there's no love there. That we know as much. And it makes us upset because we're like, okay, well, if there's no love there, come to where you know there's love. Have we ever shown him that there was gonna be? That's not the that's not the that's not the story. That's not the fine print. You don't show somebody your love like physically and everything. You know what I'm saying? And give them because you didn't. You haven't unlocked that yet. That's the point. This person can do that for you. Submit, you know, conform to this idea of pure love. Both of you. Don't just like say, no, you know, I, I can't right now. I, I can't then, you know, because we're too shy or we're too prudent or we don't know how. It's like that's, that's the waiting game. That's why we're being patient. We're waiting for the messages to flow. And if there's, if there's like a halt of messages, if you haven't received any in a minute, Look within. Don't just say you're done with him. I mean, who knows? Honestly, in his readings, I haven't seen him learning a thing. I've just seen him just kind of like pretending like the decision isn't really a decision at all. To be honest. So I'm going to keep checking in on those readings, on his readings, and seeing if there's like... It's like he knows, though. He knows that he wants to be here, and he's trying to move in great haste. I'm almost rooting on for the karmic partner to be like, here's the key for the new house. So he can just be like, yo, nah. <laughs> Come to you that night, that evening, like around like seven, you know what I mean? And just be like, yo, what's good? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I just don't want us to be done. I want us to figure out our our lessons and do what we have to do. I feel like, again... Him with this material wealth all up in his head, heart, soul, and mind, it's all up in his butt, has got us feeling like this is what we need to do, we need to do. And because we don't want to, we're just like even further away from even our salvation. How fucked up is that? 
I just don't want us to give up. I don't. Because if we were going to find someone, I think we would feel that. I think we would feel that there's another open soul out there. There's only one divine masculine and one divine feminine in the two, in the bunch. If you like polymory and everything, I mean, there's divine masculine, divine feminine, and then whoever else. It's the two of you. And it's just like, why don't we communicate? It's too hard. You probably found that some of them asked you to just stop. It's too hard to be distracted with someone, right? I feel like it's distraction. And it's ultimate betrayal. We're not saying anything like that, but we're showing him that. Mirror effect. But you think he's given up, right? He must have. How can you go so long without talking to someone? There's different ways that people act, especially being men. Men or women. But there's a, there's a runner and then there's a chaser. And you'll find that you guys are both switching often. Let's just pick three random cards right now. About what the divine feminine should do. Okay? Right now about the divine masculine. One. Excuse me. Two. Three. The Empress strength retreat leave leave right now leave this turmoil to calmer waters with the empress mother nature femininity beauty look at us who wouldn't want us we need strength to dip what was at the bottom of the deck page of wands and start something new something that you've already created an idea you've already begun go with that all right. Oh, look at this. King of Pentacles. This is who he is right now. I believe it. Just content like that. All right. Have patience. Yeah. Thanks, guys.